GPS Kevin here. Hey, as a part of making awesome motorcycle rides, today I'm going to show you how to load and calibrate a map into Aussie Explorer using Map Source. Kind of sounds weird, but we can take data from Map Source and um, load it into the map on Aussie Explorer and make it that way. So, how does this really work? Um, let's go to the internet here and pretend we're surfing on the internet. And so I just typed in here BLM. I have a this is a Google Chrome search engine, and I just typed in BLM Maps PDF. And third link down here looks interesting. It's maps from Washington and Oregon. And I'm scrolling down here, and I've of course been here before, so I'll just this is an example I'm going to use. But come across this Klein Buttes OHV area. So we're gonna click to load that and we get a map that really looks kind of interesting here. It has a bunch of trails on it and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this map from the internet. So I'm pushing right click I'm going to say save as and note it's saving it as a CBRA13 and I have created a file here that I call maps to calibrate Notice it's going to be a PDF document. I'll push save. And so it downloads it. Um, but of course, Ozzy Explorer doesn't take PDFs. So we have to convert that PDF into a JPEG file, which, if you go back to the Internet Engine here, and let's open a new tab, and we're going to type in PDF to JPEG right here jpeg.net and it brings up this website that is converts uh, from a PDF to a JPEG. So we'll, we're going to go out and we're going to choose the file that we just downloaded and it's up here in my maps to calibrate. So I'm choosing that PDF and then I'm going to come over to this search engine here to this conversion tool and I'm going to say I want the best quality. Give me 300 dpi and then I push convert PDF to JPEG. So it takes it a minute now because it's sort of it's got to upload this whole file and then it's going to convert it for us and offer it back up to download. But this file isn't too big so hopefully it'll only take a minute here. In the meantime let me say a little bit about how great Ozzy Explorer is. It is a really wonderful tool for taking these background maps and converting them into GPS track box for us. Okay, so it's done, and I'm pushing download here, and it should be, no, it is downloading, it's coming up here, and of course, here it is. Now it's the JPEG file, it's arrived, so I'm gonna kill the browser that's got it, and um, so now we're gonna go to, let's find that file, it's probably in my downloads, I have to close these windows out, We'll go to my downloads and notice here's the file right here it just showed up in my downloads so we're going to stuff that into here's my gps files this is where i keep my aussie explorer stuff here's my maps to calibrate we're going to take this file and pull it into my maps to calibrate okay we can close these windows out now and we'll open up Aussie Explorer and let's see if we're going to take Aussie Explorer and we're going to ask it to load and calibrate a map image. There's a click. So now I'm going to go to my that file that we just got here. So it's in uh, my GPS, my Aussie Explorer, my maps to calibrate. Here it is, the CBR. So we'll load that in here. Okay. Now it's ready to go and it wants us to enter some data points and here's the magic. We're going to get these data points from map source. So we open a map source window here and we locate where this thing is in map source. And so I noticed from this map it says that Sisters, this is in Oregon here, Sisters is 11 miles that way. So I open up my map source and here's, I have located Sisters and I'm beginning to see some shapes that look the same. Okay, here's that highway coming across here. Let's go back and look at it in Aussie Explorer. Uh, there's that highway and I notice 
that's probably that dip. And there's some road out here called Bar Road and Highway 126. So I'm going to go back to this and let's zoom in a little bit. Plus, plus, plus. Ah, here's that dip and here's Bar Road. Okay, so now I'm going to pick a couple of points on Ozzy Accelerator. We'll come in over here, we'll choose point one. Now I don't have to pick these points very well because we're going to sort of calibrate it and then we're going to tune it when we're done. So I'm just going to put one point at the bottom of that circle. We go over back to uh, our map source and I'm putting a point at the bottom of the circle and I get the actual data. So notice it's formatted in minutes, or excuse me, in um, minutes with a decimal point here. So I'm going to take and I'm going to copy that minutes piece, edit, copy. And I'm just going to remember that it looked like it was 44 here. So go back to Aussie Explorer. I take 0.1, put it there. We're going to enter that 44 by hand. And then I'm going to paste that last half of the number. Then it's back to map source again to get the other coordinate. Here it is copy on that. And I'm remembering it's 121. Flopping back. Here is 121. Edit, paste. Now let's work on point two. And point two, I think we'll just put it, it's nice to put it sort of diagonally down. I notice this road goes like this and there's a bend here. Let's put it at that bend. Let's go back to map source and we we'll say okay on this one. So we're gonna create the second point, same tool, right at this bend. Um, and it's 44 again. So I'm stealing these coordinates again from map source. Let's go back to this. Um, ew, did I get that right point? It looks to me like I actually meant this point up there. Let's go back and have another look. I did, we meant that point up there. So we'll better get it right in map source. Cancel, get that point. You don't have to be that close because we get to tune it up. Um, get it, copy, coming back to Ozzy. We're entering our 44, edit, paste, back to map source. It's a 121 for the last half of the number. Edit, copy, back to Aussie, 121, edit, paste. So that's it. We actually have a map calibrated, except for we're not done. We need to tune it up. So I'm going to push save. Yes, we want to save it. And so now it's ready to go on Ozzy, but now we need to test it and tune it. And here's a fun trick we're going to use. We'll say, okay, we're going to create a route now uh, in map source. Then we're going to convert it to a track log and we're going to see how it arrives on our map. So let's take and we're going to push there to there. And we want to go down this road too. So we'll click down this road, down a little further. And let's go over here and up here. Okay, and actually let's have a look and see if we have the Topo West maps, if it offers any, oh look, there's some more data in the center here. Let's route over to those lines. Down to there it gets, over to there. Let's see something over here. And I can just make a mess here and we'll see how it ends up. And that's all good. There's some more lines down here. I'm cutting across this way, and this one looks like it's cutting up here, going up over to there, here. All right, this is where I need my conversion tool. There's a route right here. I'm highlighted. I'm going to right-click mouse, push cut. I'm going over to this conversion tool. It's a great conversion tool here, WinGBD3. Let's see. The input is from the clipboard, which is my mouse. I call it my mouse. The output is to the clipboard. And I have highlighted that we're going to convert routes to tracks with all the root points. Convert. It's got it. It says it's done. OK. I go back to map source. I'm pushing paste. Oh, cool. There it is. It's all a track log now. OK, but now here's another part of the fun. We're going to save this track log. Remember, Aussie Explorer doesn't speak GBD, it speaks GPX. So we're going to save it as a GPX file. So we come over here and we say GPX. 
I'm just gonna name it poop. That's my file name that I remember to throw away when I'm done. Save. Yes. Now I want to see it in Ozzy. So go back to Ozzy. I push load. Import GPX file. Here's my file. Poop. There it is. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? So let's see. My, how there's tracks laying on top so I begin to get a sense for how well I did this highway looks lined up so on this point it's lined up really well on this point it's probably lined up okay but what we should do is we should add a third point and line it up right there so we're gonna do that by going out and getting that third point in map source uh, so let's zoom in to the corner of that road there and we're gonna make a waypoint there Poof, I get it. Here's the second half of the first coordinate. Copy, remember it's a 44. Now we're going back to Ozzy. And what we're gonna do is tell Ozzy we wanna tune this map up. So we do file, oops, excuse me, file, check calibration of map. Okay, there's one point, two point, let's add a third point. Here's my third point. We're gonna put it right there. And if we recall it was a 44, hit it, paste and back to map source kind of flopping back and forth here is the second part edit copy it is 121 Aussie Explorer 121 edit paste so we'll save that save yes oh look at that it's sweet it lines up pretty good this one's kind of off a little we could move that one a little if we like um, let's do that file check calibration of map that's point two and we're going to move it over well, let's try zooming in a little moving oh, moving over here we're going to move it over just a little bit like that maybe down a little save save yes uh, eh, we could still probably come down over this way pull it down a little so file check calibration of map where do we go? Check calibration map. Point two highlighted there. And we'll come down to about, uh, let's move in there, come down to about there. Save, save, yes. Okay, remember I'm zoomed in quite a bit there. So, so there it is. Not only is it all calibrated and it lines up well, but it also gives us this confidence that it looks pretty good. You can spend as much time as you like getting it great, but if I were you, I wouldn't spend too much time because this is just great to go ahead and use this map in this direction. Um, all right, enjoy. Get good at creating maps and sharing them.